Hey everyone, welcome back to its Pooja Mahapatra once again. And as the thumbnail has already suggested, today I'm going to talk about oral and maxillofacial surgery department, aka the Department of OMFS. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So as you guys already know that the first video was about the department of OMR and that was the first video for the third year plus the final year. I am going from bottom to the top to all the eight departments. So I have also made a video if you don't know about the departments of dentistry, you can check out that video. I will link it up in the description box. And also if you're not aware of OMR department, you can go and check out my last video. So without further ado, let's get started. So as I am in final year, I know what has happened in third year and I have passed my third year, thank God. And now I'm in final year, which is very, very difficult right now. But still, let's not give up easily and go through the whole journey together. That is what I always wanted to. So after going through the OPD, we go to the next floor, that is the surgery department, where you will find all the traumatic emotions coming out from the department. Like when I was going to be a third year I used to go from the department like I, if, I, if I wanted to go to the next department I would have to cross that department and it was all about screaming crying and what not like several things synco people getting unconscious people getting frightened children's crying old people screaming and you know this department <laughs> is for all the departments because if you are going through orthodontic treatment if you are going to go for the braces and all those things you have to go and extract and even from the pedo department sometimes the children's has to be sent to the surgery department for extractions then again there are old age people most of the cases where you know they're just extracting their tooth like every departments are connected so what is special about surgery department so in this department you deal like a surgeon you know the topics that are covered in final year are fractures and a lot more than that you know the surgeon thinks that we as maxillofacial surgeons do if you are doing an md or masters after our graduation right so that is a very specialized department every department is specialized so this is another specialized department but as a third year and as a final year what do we learn from this department let's talk about that so the first and foremost thing what we do as a third year that i did in my third year was the first day and i had to remove suture after extraction we do the suture and then we advise the patient to come after seven days for the removal of the suture so that is a very basic thing that we start with the suture cutting scissor and a mirror okay so we see all the tooths and then we see where is the suture and then we go for cutting the suture if it is for the anteriors it is very easy to remove as a third year but if it is the posterior tooth it is very difficult to get into the mouth and like and to retract the cheeks and to cut the sutures properly so that was very much difficult for me because when as a third year you were the first a person the patient doesn't know you are doing it for the first time but you are really doing it for the first time like cutting the suture so what will happen if we perforate the soft tissues it will start bleeding and sometimes there are tissues which are not yet healed so bleeding does come so one tip i will give you that my father has always said that is always keep a cotton with you so whenever there will be bleeding make the cotton round and just give it over the wounded place okay where, from where the blood is coming the most easy thing to do so there is nothing to be nervous about just cut the suture if there is a lot of bleeding just take the cotton roll the cotton and then put it there and ask the patient to bite it okay so to bite it and then ask the patient to throw it after like 10 to 20 minutes okay the bleeding will be stopped now what happens during this case is where in my third year i had seen when i cut the suture there was a swelling present okay so I had no idea because as a third year student, 
uh, I just know that extraction occurs and then you have to cut the sutures. But from my seniors, what I have seen after if there is a traumatic kind of extraction, uh, sometimes there are a lot of swellings and different type of things that can arise from that particular thing. patient was having a lot of problem that time and uh, I did not know what to do. So I asked my senior teacher, I have examined the patient and I saw some kind of swelling over there and I don't think that's just a normal swelling. So sir came and he saw that, okay, so there was some kind of issues and the tooth that was extracted was a RCT tooth. There is always a problem with a RCT tooth which is being extracted. There are a lot of reasons. Let's not talk about it in this video. So sir gave him some medications and yeah, that was also a new experience for me. So for suture removal, you will have a mirror and a, a suture removal scissor. All those things are being sterilized each and every time you cut a suture. That means you cannot use it in the other patient. In my college, after removal of the suture, we take the scissor and the mirror. We wash our hands and the person who is in charge of sterilization, they go and do the sterilization and then put it back in the tray again. So sterilization is must, must, must. Do not use the same thing to the other patient. Okay, so there is a chance of spreading the infection so don't do that after getting into a department see what seniors are doing ask the seniors communicate with them and then proceed all right second thing what we had to do in the first posting of our third year was taking 10 case histories so i have talked about case history in my omr department also there is a different case history page for that similarly we have a different case history for oral surgery department where we have to ask the patient a lot of questions the medical history is very important and from there you will get an idea what, what medicines should we stop if the patient is going through extraction what medication should we give to the patient as well because if the patient is allergic to some kind of medication or the la you will understand about that as well so yeah leave note palpations all those things are there in oral surgery department now in the second posting viva start because we are given the demo of how to extract maxillary anterior tooth so yeah we have to read about the whole thing from the books and then we have to give the viva if we clear the viva we are allowed to do the extraction of the maxillary anterior tooth so here comes the local anesthesia part so malamide is a very important book which is based on the local anesthesia everything is given there we had to read all those things and then we have also we also need to know about the chair position patient position and all the nerve blocks what are the courses of the nerves maxillary mandibular everything maxillary is very important for third Year. now let's come to the final year part so my first posting is done in oral surgery we were allowed to do the extraction of the maxillary anterior tooth and there were vivas and it was based on all the nerve courses the mandibular was included again and then again we had to read about the mcps which is a very very vital thing mcp is nothing but medically compromised patient cases that means the patients who are having hypertension cardiac problems and also diabetes and lots of things we need to understand the patient management so this there comes the management part and also so, pharmacology part as well when to stop the dosage when to start it again therapies that we need to understand okay so all the things comes under the mcp so it is a very very important chapter because in our daily life we will come across patients and syncope management is a very important thing that we need to understand because uh, in my posting also i have seen patient getting syncope so yeah so this is a very important thing like how to lie the patient in the chair also the pregnant woman's how to if there is a extraction to be done in a pregnant woman how do we lie the patient and why do we lie the patient in that particular position okay final year is like the toughest but these are being asked as a common question in viva there comes the instrument part like different instruments for the removal of premolars molars and teeters are used we have to know which to be used and of course we need to know how to give the la okay the local anesthesia and the nerve the courses because otherwise how will we be able to penetrate the needle so anesthesia is a very important it's all about local anesthesia we are not talking about general anesthesia here so yeah this is all about the oral surgery department and i am gonna have my second posting very soon i just hope that everything goes well in my final year fingers crossed okay so that is it for today's video i hope that you are doing well and wherever you are if you are feeling stuck or feeling like things are changing know that change is the only constant as i always always believe in this thing so you have to hold on there and keep fighting for what you want okay try to manage yourself as you are 
as you are learning the managements of diseases so try to manage yourself as well it will help you all along the journey and try to enjoy the journey there will be lots of ups and downs but nothing to worry about you can do it because if i can you can also so i hope that you find this video helpful and if you did do check out my other videos and share these videos as well and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and i will see you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye so from today my first always posting stats parami pura unga bamme kose na tanja gatri na tala sundana falling down come to the asata mam da take kaba tamanga porachi I'm not gonna lie.